Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Stripe payments in an ASP.NET Core application. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm going to be doing this tutorial on a Mac with Visual Studio Code. This is part of the beauty of using ASP.NET Core, is that this is even possible. So go ahead and open up your command line and run .NET New MVC to create a new project. And then we're going to go ahead and add our Stripe package with .NET add Stripe.NET. Now let's go ahead and restore and run our project just to make sure everything's in working order. Now when you navigate to localhost 5000, you should get the generic ASP.NET Core web template. And if we open up our project in Visual Studio Code, you'll see in our csproj file, the stripe.net package was added. So let's go ahead and go over to our app settings.json. And we need to add a section for our Stripe API keys. You're going to have to go ahead and populate these sections with your own API keys from the Stripe dashboard. So you're going to have to go and make an account and actually fetch those keys and put them in this section because we're going to reference these keys later on in our code. Now let's go ahead and move to our startup.cs file and add a using statement first for Stripe. And then in our configure method, we're going to set the API key of our Stripe configuration to actually pull the API keys that we set in our app settings JSON file. Then we're going to go ahead and create a new class called Stripe settings. This is the class that is going to hold the secret key and the publishable key that we put into our app settings JSON. Now, let's move back into our startup CS file, and this time let's go into our configure services method, and let's configure our Stripe settings type to be populated by the values from the Stripe section in our configuration as we defined in our app settings JSON file. So now let's go ahead into our controllers folder and open up our home controller file. And let's go ahead and add a new method, and we'll call it charge. And it's going to take in two parameters, the Stripe email and the Stripe token. These are going to be passed in through the body of the post request that we're going to be making. So we're going to need to go ahead and create a new Stripe customer service object. But let's not forget to add in our Stripe using statement at the beginning. And then we're also going to need to make a new Stripe charge service object. So from our customer service object, we're going to go ahead and create a new customer. And that's going to take a parameter of a Stripe customer create option object. And in that object, we're going to pass in the Stripe email and the Stripe token. that are the parameters to this method. Then we're going to use our charge service object to create a new Stripe charge. And we're going to use the create method, and that's going to take a parameter of a Stripe charge create options object. And in there, we're going to pass in the details of this specific charge. So let's go ahead and just put in a fixed amount for the amount of charge. And this is in cents. So we're going to just go ahead and put 500, which will translate to $5. And let's just add a description, the currency, and the customer ID. 
And finally, we're going to return the view associated with this action. So now we need to go ahead and set up our views. So we're going to go ahead and enter our home directory under views and go to our index.cshtml file. Let's go ahead and remove everything and we're going to start fresh. First, we're going to add a using statement for Microsoft extensions options. So now we're going to inject our Stripe settings object. This is where we're going to get our publishable key from that we configured in our app settings JSON file. And then in this view, we're going to set up a form whose action is going to be the charge action that we just set up and the method is going to be post. In this form, we're going to add a script that's going to reference the Stripe code. So we're going to set the source to checkout.stripe.com slash v2 slash checkout.js. We're going to set the class of the script to Stripe button. And we're going to set the data key to be the publishable key that we're pulling from the Stripe settings object. And we're going to set the data description and the data amount. I'm just going to go ahead and add a label here which tells the user the amount of the charge. They'll see it again once they actually click on the stripe button. So what this form does is when you click the button inside of it, it's going to pull up a view configured by Stripe for a user to go ahead and enter their credit card information and their email address and that is what's going to actually send the request to the Stripe payment service. So now let's go ahead and add our last view. We'll call it charge.cshtml. This is the view that we're going to present the user after they've successfully completed a charge. So now let's go ahead and pull up our terminal. Let's call .NET Run. And let's go ahead and navigate to localhost 5000. And we see our homepage. Let's click on Pay with Card. So we can just enter in any email address. It'll ask you for a verification code. You can actually just exit that. The Stripe default test credit card number is just 4242 over and over again. For the expiration date, you just hit a date in the future and then any three numbers for that code. And once we hit submit, you can see that the payment went through successfully and our charge page has been loaded. Now you can go over to your Stripe dashboard and you'll be able to see a new payment submitted for $5 as well. So be sure that you actually went ahead and added your API keys to the app settings JSON. Unless you've done that, the payment won't go through successfully. But if you've done that, then now you've got Stripe payments integrated into your ASP.NET Core application. Congrats. Thanks for watching. Bye.